friends and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, something a little different. I just received a couple of really cool kits from my friends over at Atlantis Models. They sent me these to review and build on the channel. So today we're going to do an unboxing of both and we're going to kind of generally review the contents of each. And then I will be building each of these later on in separate videos with a full build and full review. I want to thank Atlantis for sending these to me. I'm really looking forward to reviewing more of their kits and sharing them with you guys. So I'm going to crack these kits open and we're going to take a look and see what's inside. Really quick, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel a lot. And as always, if you'd like to help out my channel even more, go check out my t-shirts at my t-shirt shop, where I have t-shirts, stickers, mugs, and hats, all scale model themed, designed by me, a scale modeler. You can check out my I Heart Scale Models t-shirt, or maybe my Don't Feed the Carpet Monster t-shirt, and several other cool and quirky designs. All the links are down in the description below, so be sure to check them out. All right. Let me move things around and we'll get to the unboxing. Okay, first up, we're gonna check out the Silver Knight of Augsburg from Atlantis Models. This is in 1 8 scale and it should be pretty fun. Now I haven't done a figure model in, oh, decades. So this will be fun for me to get back into doing a little bit of a figure modeling. So let's get this cracked open and see what's inside. Okay, let's see what we've got in the box. We've got a bag of parts. We have an instruction manual. There's a picture of our knight on there. History of the Silver Knight. Here we have all of our steps for assembly. And then we have an exploded view of the entire kit. Over here we have a parts list. And down here we have painting instructions. On the back, we have the history of the uh, knight and some promotional images of some of Atlantis' other figure kits. So these look like typical old school type instructions You've, with the exploded view and then the step-by-step. -step. Step one, cement breastplate nine to back plate 10. So basically we'll just follow these instructions down the line and we'll assemble our knight. All right, let's see what else we have in the back. Okay, first off, we have this cool little feather. Yeah, it's actually a, I'm sure it's a fake feather, but it's a feather. So that'll be pretty cool. Let's set that aside. All right, here we have our, it looks like the back of the armor. Okay, there's a lot of flash on here. So be aware of that. There's gonna be some definite cleanup but you have to kind of be accepting of that in these repopped kits because these molds are old and, and they don't seal up as well and you're just gonna have to deal with that. Doesn't necessarily mean a negative thing, just be aware you're gonna have some flash to clean up. Okay, here we have the sword. The sword looks actually pretty nicely detailed. That'll look good once we get it all painted up. Here we have the front and back of the helmet which again, a little bit of flash, but overall looks really nice. It's got some raised detail for the rivets and some recessed lines. Okay, here we have the back of his legs. Again, more flash, but some nice detail in there, some texture. We'll be able to uh, detail that up. Please ignore the dog backing in the, barking in the background. Okay, there's the front of his legs. Okay, here we have more of his armor, his hands, and their, the gloves. Oops, parts are coming off the tree, but that's okay. That's why they put them in a bag. Okay, here we have the front armor section. That looks really nice. Here we have what looks like his leg halves and the belt. And looks like this looks like the top of the helmet, the faceplate over the helmet. Looks like we'll be able to drill those holes out to give it a little more texture. That'll be neat. Here we have this looks like a shoulder pad. Again, nice 
Nice added detail there. Okay, here we have a sheath for his sword. That's got some detail on it. A nice base with the Augsburg 1390 stamp, or 1360, excuse me, stamped on it and a place for his feet to go. Here we have his feet, looks like his elbows, and then we have his face. So the face is pretty nice looking. We'll be able to paint that up and make that look pretty nice. And we have a few other parts here. Not quite sure what those are, but we'll figure that out as we go. All right, what else do we have in the bag? Okay, we have a couple parts that broke off the tree. All right, that glove. The glove has got some nice detail on it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. All right, so there's the contents of the Silver Knight kit. Again, I will be building this on the channel and do a full in-depth review at that point. So let's move on to the Lighthouse. All right, next up we have the Lighthouse model kit. This is, it, it's a big box, so I can't actually get it all in frame, but uh, this includes a working light uh, and it will need some batteries. They're not included. They're a two CR2032 battery. I believe that's a coin type battery, but we'll see when we get into the kit. This is in one 160 scale, so it should be a pretty good size. The side of the box has some pictures of the actual finished kit. And on the back we have a, the box was damaged in shipping. Hopefully it didn't damage anything inside. We'll soon find out. And then you have a nice picture of a completed kit. Comes on a base with like water and waves and then a hillside or something. And then the lighthouse, the smokehouse, uh, some boats and antennas. I'm really looking forward to building this kit. Got some information here on the rest of the kit. So let's get this opened up and see what we got inside. All right, let's see what we have here. We've got one bag, all the parts in it. We have an instruction set. Now again, this is a snap tight kit, no glue required. However, when I build it, I will definitely be using glue. So that's just me, you can build this kit without any glue. All right, so a very simple step-by-step -step set of instructions. So that's very nice. A little information on here on where the actual parts go. And they have lots of pictures on the box, so that's always a plus. And okay, here we have our how to light your lighthouse. And yeah, it looks like two of those coin type batteries, so you'll need to get some of those. It's got a battery case, a light switch, and looks like a long tube with a light on the end of it. All right, so we will check that out. Uh, we have some information about lighthouses in general. We actually have several lighthouses here where I live, so kind of a fan of lighthouses. And we've got some information on the paint colors you'll need and more information down here. Uh, looks like we have information that's provided by the Lighthouse Preservation Society. That's kind of cool. And the American Lighthouse Foundation. Cool. All right, let's get into the bag and see what we got. Okay. All right, well, everything came out of the bag. That's good. Okay, so here we have our base. And it's big. I mean, there's my hand. I have a pretty good size hand. So it's a nice big base. And it's got a lot of texture in it. A lot of decent detail, actually, for a kit like this. Um, everything looks like the holes are there for mounting everything. Very nice. <laughs> Pretty substantial too, I like that, it's not real flimsy. Okay, here we have our lighthouse halves. These are the main structure. And they all go together like so. There's some raised texture here, which is nice. Um, the windows are just hollowed out. There's Looks like there's some clear parts for those possibly. So they're well numbered. So yeah, that looks good. Okay. And here we are, our clear parts. So it looks like we just have clear parts for the top where the light actually goes. I don't see any smaller ones for the windows in here. All right, let's get this. So here we have our this is our lighting system. So you've got a battery holder with a switch, 
Batteries go in here. This is going to go up inside and looks like we've got just a little little clear LED at the top of that. So simple, but that should work great. Okay, we have some little parts here. So these look like the guardrails, maybe a fence, post. Uh, we have a small piece here. Not sure what that's for yet, but we definitely don't want to lose them. Okay, um, I believe these are part to, parts to the smokehouse, or they're also called an oiler house because that's where they stored the oil sometimes for the old oil lamps, but. All right, um, here we have a sprue with our shipwrecked parts. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that, how they've done that. And even though it's a pretty decently molded little part, and then we have uh, for the top of the lighthouse with the, with the light is all nicely molded there. Then we have another sprue with our lifeboat. Looks like more parts to the actual lighthouse itself, the light. Not sure what that, oh, that looks like the front area for the uh, smokehouse. Our antennas and another railing. And this is the top of our lighthouse, which is also textured with some raised detail. All right, uh, one thing I will say, this is a simple kit, but not a whole lot of flash. I'm actually pretty impressed with the lack of flash. I mean, there is a tiny bit, but it, this will clean up very easily. And even on the halves here, there's a little bit of cleanup we'll need to do, but nothing major really. It actually looks really nice. All right, so that's the contents of our lighthouse kit. As I said, I will be building each of these kits, the lighthouse and the night on the channel in two separate videos with a full build and full review of each. Again, I want to thank Atlantis Models for sending me these kits to check out. I really appreciate it and I'm looking forward to doing more of that with them. Also, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. And with that, it'll wrap up this episode, this quick unboxing. So until next time, friends, be safe out there and go build something.